welcome again. Um, my name is Steve Townsend, and in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about a song that Eddie Van Halen played called uh, Cathedral, and this is on Van Halen's Diver Down album. And um, for years growing up, I thought this was done on a keyboard, you know, because Eddie did some keyboard work, but uh, I saw a video of him playing this live on a guitar and was instantly blown away. Didn't think it was a guitar, but it is. Uh, so, if you've ever heard this piece, you might wonder, well, how would you get that sound out of a guitar? And uh, I guess, really, if you've ever listened to any Van Halen, you're probably going to wonder, how did you get that sound out of a guitar? But this piece in particular sounds more like a keyboard than anything else. And what he does to get this, you really don't even need a pick, but uh, you're going to you use your volume knob for all your attack and everything. Um, so, basically, you'd start with the volume knob all the way down and hammer on a note and then turn the volume up. Now, along with this comes this rhythmic feedback that you're going to get from the tape, or from your echo, from your delay unit, and you're playing against it, so to speak. So, just so you know, like, without the echo, if I play this, what it sounds like is this. Now with the echo, it's going to kind of work against what I'm playing. So the, the tempo of your delay will really determine how fast you have to play to get that rhythmic interaction between you and the delay pedal. Uh, but to start this song, Eddie, Eddie plays some weird chords. And the first one, and this is, again, just my take, so I could be wrong, but this is, this is what sounds right to my ear. Uh, it sounds to me like a C major 7, so with the way I'm going to play that, uh, my ring finger here is going to play the 3rd fret of the G string. My pinky will play the 4th fret of the G, uh, the, I'm sorry, 3rd fret of the A string. And uh, my middle finger is going to play the second fret of the D string, and then the rest of the strings ring open, and that's going to give me this chord here. And of course, he'll play that chord and then fade in with his volume knob. The next chord, it's almost like you're going to play an F major chord, except you're going to let the B string and the high E string ring open. Back to that C major 7. And then a C power chord here with your first finger on the 3rd fret, 3rd finger on the 5th fret of the D string, and the pinky on the 5th fret of the G string. And you're again, your high, uh, high E and B strings are going to ring open. To move that whole thing a half step down. And then again, all those chords. And the second time you get to that B chord there, you don't really let the high E string and B string ring open. It's just the, the first finger, third and fourth fingers there on the A, D, and G strings. brings us into the next section of this song and I'm going to turn this delay off so you can so you can get a better idea of what I'm playing but essentially we're going to play a B major chord using these notes which is basically and we're going to play those notes one at a time we're going to go up and then down just like that. And when you get the timing right with your delay unit, you'll get this. And all I played was... And you end up with... So then what he's going to do is move this up. Two 
to the sixth fret and play what would be a D sharp or I guess an E flat major, however you want to look at it. And keep going up in whole steps. Be a G major there on the 10th fret with your first finger and the 12th there on the D, G and B string. And again, moved it up, you know, a series of whole steps until you got to the 14th fret. And then back down to the 10th fret. Now the whole thing jumps down to the 5th fret, then to the 8th position, and then to 3rd position. So, so far, that whole bit up to tempo with the delay would sound like this. And so, now, after that last little bit without the delay, twice you need to play on the G string, it's going to be the 7th fret, and then the 4th fret, 7, 4 on the G string, and then the 5th fret of the D string. And that will sound like this. And so, coming out of that... Now what you're going to play is basically the 3rd and the 5th fret on the D and A string. It's going to be on the D, 3 and 5, and then on the A, 3 and 5, to a 2nd fret on the A string or a B note. And so that would sound like this. And then the whole thing repeats again. So, so far we're here. And so, from that point, everything happens again, but when he reaches the top, he climbs up a little further, uh, and I'll show you that right now. And that essentially is, you're in 15th position here, you're going to play the 15th fret, 15th fret on your, uh, with your first finger on the uh, A string, and then on the 17th fret you'll have, with your third finger there, um, 17th on the D, G, B, and then the G and D again. Move the whole thing up a whole step to 17th position. And then move the whole thing up one more time to 19th position. And this time he keeps playing those three notes descending like that. Really for an indefinite amount of time. And so that sounds like this. And then he starts this big long descending run, which musically really doesn't make a lot of sense. But then again, musically, a lot of stuff Eddie did didn't make any sense. It just sounded awesome. And so what I'm doing there... Essentially, it sounds way more complicated than it is without, with the delay pedal. Without the delay pedal, I'm just doing this. And that's... 17, 19... I'm sorry, 19, 21... And then 1719. That's going to be 1617. That last one there was 14, 
and uh, 16, and this is again all on the A string. Then 12 and 14, and as you do this with your delay pedal, you'll have this. Just like that. So, continuing on. We had 12 and 14, and then we have 11 and 12, 9 and 11, 7 and 9, and then we're going to have uh, 5 and 7, then 4 and 5, and then 2 and 4. So without the pedal descending this whole thing, it would sound like this. last two notes there were on the uh, second fret and the fourth fret. Now when you put the pedal on, your delay unit, and, and the amount of delay I have is basically... So with that on, at the same tempo... what that sounds like. Now he starts a section where on the third fret, the second fret, and the open E string you have and that's going to be you know three, two, open on your low E and then five and seven on the A. What that sounds like is So what that is, on the G string, that's the 7th fret, 7th fret on the G string to the 7th fret on the D string. Uh, continuing on the D string, we'll have the 5th fret and the 4th fret. And then you'll go back and forth from the 5th to the 7th on the A string. Do that a few times and go back down to the low E and do three, two, and open again. And then repeat this. And again, with the pedal, it's going to sound like this. Without the pedal, that whole sequence is simply uh, definitely a lot more boring without the pedal. Sure we got that right. That is actually climbing down. You'll you'll have the the uh, seventh fret on the G, seventh fret on the D, fifth on the D, fourth and second, and then back and forth on the fifth and seventh of the A. the pedal that's and then for the last note just fade the volume in nice and slow and so that entire sequence of notes from start to finish would be this Thank you. 
Notice as you play this that your your hands will get very fatigued with that volume knob, and uh, I think one thing Eddie did to help him with this was he if you ever pay attention to a lot of his old guitars he actually uses an MXR pedal knob for a volume knob and it has the kind of octagonal shape to it which gives you a better grip and uh, that's one thing he did to his guitar just probably for that very reason that he uses a volume knob so much to give him a better grip on that but. Uh, that is Cathedral by Eddie Van Halen from the Diver Down album, and uh, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned a little something. It's definitely something to play with. Uh, echo pedal can be a lot of fun to play with, and uh, I think Eddie made us all pretty aware of that. So thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>